All right, ladies, to create this one, you're going to sign into Canva. I have a Canva Pro account. You do not need to have a Canva Pro account. You can do this using Canva Free. So what you're going to do once you've signed into Canva is you're going to come up to the upper right where it says create a design and click the button. You're looking for Instagram Reel. If it's not there, just type, start typing in the word Reel. It's going to show up and all you have to do is click on it. Now we've created the Instagram Reel. First thing we need to do is add our B-roll. We're going to go into the Uploads folder, which is on the left-hand side, fourth one down. When you're in the Uploads folder, there are three tabs under the two buttons at the top. There are Images, there's Video, and then there's Audio. And this is anything that you've uploaded in here. I'm gonna go into my Videos tab because I have a background video or a piece of B-roll that's playing in the background of this video. And I have a bunch of different clips in here of B-roll, so I'm just gonna apply one that I already have. If you don't have a clip in here, all you have to do is upload files by clicking here and uploading the clip that you want to use. So I'm just going to use uh, this one of me. Uh, it's me. I just recently got my hair done. Uh, you can hear that there's audio in the background of this video. So the first thing that I always do when I bring a video in that's a piece of B-roll is I'm going to click on those three dots and I'm going to click on extract audio. And then what I'm going to be able to do is actually click on the audio and delete it. So now the audio is gone. It's been stripped. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to click back on my video and I know it's selected because I have a purple line around it. Click on those three dots again and click set video as background. If you set the video as the background first, you're not going to be able to extract your audio. Okay, so there is the first thing. Now what I need to do is add a rounded rectangle. So I'm going to come over to the menu on the left hand side. I'm looking for elements this time and I'm just going to search for rounded rectangle. I am looking for the shapes and I'm looking for this first one. All I'm going to do is click on it once to apply it. It's probably going to come on in a color already. I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to show you how to do that. First we're going to resize it. Let's make it like about the size that we're going to want it at. We can use the little lines that show up to be a visual guide so that we know that we're aligning it perfectly in the center. I'm just now going to change the color. So I'm gonna tap on it. I know it's selected because again, I've got that purple border. I'm going to cup, come up into the upper menu where it says color. I'm gonna tap on this and I'm gonna just change it to white. All right, so that part's done. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is come back over into elements and this time I'm going to look for circle frame. And I want the one with the white border or it looks like a white border around it. So it's the second one in for me. I'm just going to tap on it once. It's going to apply it. I'm going to use one of the corners, the upper corners to make this just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too big. I don't want it to compete that much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off on the gray area over on the right, click back on it again, and then just bring it up so that it kind of sits just at the top. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that background color so it's white. So up in the upper menu where the colors are at, I can again go into this color and choose white. Done. And then I'm just going to click over on the gray area just to apply that. Okay, now we're good to go. Now we're ready to add our information. The first thing that we're going to do is add a text box. So we're going to go over to the left hand side of options again. We're looking for text and I think I'm just going to use subheading for this. It's not going to be big enough, but I'm going to make it bigger. So the first thing that it will always do is put it in the center of the page. That sometimes is a little bit disconcerting for people because they actually don't know it's there. So there are these two tools that show up. This one changes the rotation. This one is called the move tool. I'm going to move it down a little bit so I can see it a little bit better. There's a couple of ways that we can make the text in here larger so we can actually read it. One, we can come up to the font size up here and change it here. Or two, if we click on it itself and grab this little white circle that's in the upper left and drag it, we can actually make it bigger by just dragging it and it does it responsively, which is what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just change this. I think the text that I had used was called now. Yep. So I'm just going to use now and I think I'll make it bold. That's going to be way too big to put her username. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So now I'm just going to double click inside the box to select all the text and I'm going to put in my customer's username here. 
Okay, so we have that done. She is there. What we're going to do is while this is selected, and again, I know I have selected just this because this is the only thing that is lit up in purple. I'm going to click on the animate button and what I'm looking for is rise. So if you don't see rise, just kind of keep scrolling down until you see rise. You're looking for rise, you're looking for on enter, and you're looking for direction up. And that's all you have to do. And then you just tap on the gray area in the middle to apply that. Okay, now let's add in our actual testimonial. So again, I'm just gonna bring in a subheading. I'm gonna use this move tool to move it down. And this is where I'm going to paste in my testimonial. So all I'm gonna do is double click to select all the text and then paste in my own testimonial. Now you can see this is not formatted right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these sides and move them in so that this just covers the space that is here. We wanna make sure that we leave a little bit of a border. You wanna have some padding around this. You never want your text to go right to the edge. All right, so now we need to make it bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the text that's in here, and I'm gonna try increasing it by 10 each time. So it's at 21, I'm gonna go to 31 and press tab. Okay, that's sort of close, but not quite it. So again, I'm gonna select everything that's in here by double clicking my mouse inside here. And then let's go to, let's try like 42. Okay, this is better. Yep, dug in this. I'm gonna change the font, make this now bold it up. Okay, this is this is close. I think I can make it a little bit wider. There we go. And then again, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of clicking off on the left hand side or the right hand side and then clicking back on to ensure that I'm getting the alignment right. Okay, so this is great. I like the way this is going. All right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I can see that there is an extra space at the bottom here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take that off. So I'm going to put my cursor in there. I'm just gonna hit the delete key once. Now it's just around my text, which is what I want. I wanna go into animate again. I, I've got this selected because I've got it line, outlined in purple. Click on animate. This time I'm going down to look for typewriter. So I'm just gonna look for typewriter and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything else. Now what we need to do is we need to bring in the five star review. So we're going to go over to the elements tab this time on the left hand side, we're gonna click on elements and in the search bar, we're going to look for five star review. And then we're going to go into graphics and we're gonna click see all to see all the graphics. And there are the ones that have little um, crowns beside them, they're the pro features. So I would encourage you if you don't have a pro account to not use those, look for the one without, there is one right here. So I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna change the color of it. I'm gonna make it the color that I want it to be. We want to make, might wanna make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna grab that move tool and just move it down here just like that. And then I'm also going to animate this. So I've got it selected. All I'm gonna do is click on animate. I'm gonna go back to rise again, and I want on enter and up, and that's it. Okay, now we need to add our picture. So to do this, we're going to go into uploads, and I'm gonna go into images this time, which is on the left-hand side. And I know I already have my uh, customer, Jenny, in here. I've already saved her headshot by going to her website or going to her Instagram. So all I have to do is actually look for her name by hitting search, here she is. Now, to apply it to a frame, all you have to do, there's two ways to do this. One, you can just click on the image once, it's going to add it over here. Then what you're gonna do with your mouse is grab it until you see it kind of lock in place in the circle background. Can you see how that happened? Um, let's just say, I'm gonna delete this. Let's say that doesn't work for you. What you can also do is left click and drag directly from your uploads folder over here until it locks in place, just like that and let it go. When you're done, you just let it go. Okay, we've got this, we've got this. The only other thing we need to do is put my own username down here. So I'm gonna go back into elements this time. I'm going to look for button. And I guess I'm, I'm in graphics, that's what I want. I think I'll use like, uh, let's just use a plain one. What do we have here? That's pretty plain. I think I'll go with, let's maybe, I think I'm gonna go with, with something really, really simple. I think I'll just use this gradient one that's here and I'm gonna bring it down, gonna make it bigger like that. I might need to move all of this up a little bit. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is start in the bottom right corner and diagonally go up 
and select all of this and then I can move everything at one time and then I can make that just big enough so that that goes there. I'm going to change the color on this both to be the same so it looks like one solid color. Then I'm going to go back into text on the left hand side. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this here and I'm just going to paste it down. And then I'm just going to move this down here like so, select everything and then put in my own username here. And I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the text color, which is up here in the upper menu to white. Okay, there we go. And I always like to capitalize where there would be spaces to make it easier for someone to actually search me, right? Okay, so I noticed that I have a spelling error in Jenny's name here, so I'm just gonna fix that. There we go. Okay, excellent. Um, the only other thing that I did notice here is I want this to be not black, but navy so that it's more on brand. And then all we have to do is we have to animate these two things. So first we're gonna do the button by clicking on the button. I know it's the button because it's circled in that purple border. Click on animate, click on rise, make sure it's on enter direction up and do the same thing for my username. So click on this, click on, oh, it already is. Look, it's already on rise. So we're all set. So let's play it through. So to play it, you can just take this little, you can see that the play button is kind of here. So I'm just gonna pull it back to the beginning and then press the play button. It's doing exactly as we want. Perfect, this is good. The only other thing that I did is I added some sparkles. So let's go over back to the elements tab. In here, we're going to put in sparkles. And again, you're looking for the free ones. This one's a free one, so I'll just pick this, maybe put it here. And again, I can use this little tool that's here to move it and kind of like adjust it, skew it a little bit. And then let's make these white. Yep, I like that. And then let's also maybe add, um, this one's free. I can add a little bit of fun sparkle up at the top like that kind of like that. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll copy this one. So I'm just going to select it. So I'll just, all I did to select it was tap on it, tap on these three, and then I can hit duplicate. Or I could just hit this little duplicate button that's here. There's a couple ways to do that and maybe move that down there. All right, then I'm done. Now all I have to do is save it. So I'm gonna click share. I'm going to click download and it's going to download as an mp4 all i have to do is click download once it's finished downloading all i have to do is get it to my phone now i'm using a mac computer and i have an iphone so i can airdrop it to myself but if that's not you and you don't have that capability all you have to do is either email it to yourself or pop it in google drive just figure out a way to get it over so that you can post it on instagram and that's it, ladies. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more easy real ideas. Have an amazing day. Cheers.